Welcome to the Heidelberger Allstate Insurance Agency pregame show. Standing here in Ray Skillman Stadium before the Trojans head on over to the north side and take on the Pike Red Devils. Coach, uh, I want to congratulate you on a victory last week. It's the first time we played a, a school inside the state of Indiana against Lawrence Central. We went over there and our all-whites took care of business. It was kind of a weird game, it seemed like, but uh, got a large victory. Your thoughts on that game? Yeah, it, you know, it started with us being on the buses for about an hour and 20 minutes on the I-465 in the heat. And I'm just sitting there boiling like all the kids thinking, man, how is this going to affect this? And I thought we came out of it, uh, got dressed, and went on the field really quick and played a great game. The, the first quarter was awesome. Our offense went out, moved the ball up down the field. The defense three and outed them twice. And next thing you know, it's 14 nothing, and we decided to stop <laughs> on the offense for a while. Uh, and then, you know, the defense held in there. They made some great plays. Uh, Lawrence Central has tremendous athletes, as you saw at the end of the first half there. The, the, the number one got away three times and ended up scoring. And other than that, he really didn't affect us the rest of the night. They had big, tall receivers. They threw the ball up to him. You saw in the JV and, and freshman games, they had big receivers. They threw the ball up to him. And these kids that go make plays. Uh, but our kids made more plays. And then the, the really great thing was to start the second half, we came out, you know, 75-yard drive. Uh, we had to go for it on fourth down, a little fake punt, fun, uh, fake, fake punt stuff there that was fun. And then we went for it on a fourth down and goal, and uh, Cherry made an unbelievable throw to, to, to Ryland Cook, who scored the touchdown. And then we got the ball back, went right down the field, and it seemed like they might have quit. When we hit 28 on them, it seemed like, well, that's it. We, they're supposed to beat us, and that's what happened. So just real proud of our effort. Offense and defense, Brody uh, Boswell started the game in the first quarter, the big interception there, and that really turned us on. Yeah, the defense, I thought, played pretty well. And, and as you mentioned, their, their receivers are really tall. And when I was doing the game, I mean, they were throwing it up. It really is a good test against our secondary. And overall, they did a pretty good job. Turning our attention to Pike, <clears throat> last week, do you have any idea how many games in a row that was that we had taken over a public school, regardless of where they're from, as far as what kind of run we're on? No, I know we haven't lost to, to a team in, in uh, a public school team in Indiana since, like, 2019. But. Other than that, I don't know. <laughs> I had to count out the numbers because it's quite impressive and, and it's against great competition. But that was our 38th straight victory over a public school. It goes all the way back to the state championship in 2019. Uh, pretty impressive. Pike comes in. They don't have an overall good record, but they are incredibly athletic. Uh, they can spread you around. Your thoughts on Pike when you saw them on film this week? Well, I thought their defense has uh, is, is, is gotten a lot better than it was last year, and their offense is steady. Uh, their offense is it's like the mirror of Lawrence Central. It's like the same team you're playing again. Uh, only this team has probably a little bit more credibility, could throw the ball. I think I, th I just think their offensive game plan's better. Uh, their defense changes a little bit. We don't know who's hurt and who's not hurt, not like it is in high school. But we're going to have to go out there and play and, and set the tone and get a lead because the teams like LC and Pike can tie your beach in one play. So we got to go out there and take control of the game. I know a few years ago in the 2020 team, we went up there. We hadn't even been scored on yet, and one of your all-time favorites is playing for Indiana University. Did exactly what you just said, got out of his lane, and within seven seconds, we were down 7 nothing. That was a sight to see. But to your point, they can score quickly, and we just got to come ready to play. Uh, any additional thoughts with everything going on? The weather's starting to change, getting into a, more of a groove and getting ready for playoffs. Yeah, and we're in a good groove. It's just that we got a lot of injured kids and there's going to be some there's four or five kids that aren't playing tonight that we've not ever played with so it's an opportunity for some young kids to stand up and and and, and play the game and make a name for themselves or be the reason so uh you know it's going to be a total team effort tonight we look forward for a little bit of a temperature drop although it got hot again this week which i'm glad i want that i love that heat i love to see teams have to out condition us and none of them ever do so we just want to be very physical tonight we want to get guys on the ground get off the field on third down and score on offense for those of you that tuned in last week, you'll know that, that we are not doing the webcast or any form of audio tonight due to Pike's decisions. They are doing a student-led webcast. We will be getting that out on social media and all the various other outlets that we can get information to all the fans. So if you want to tune in, you can. There will be some updates throughout the game from Kevin Conrad, so you can go to CG Sports Network. Coach, let's get a, the number 39 straight. Let's continue the dominance over Mick teams. We wish you luck and go get them up there tonight. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of seats left available at Pike Stadium. Come on up and watch a great football team. The Trojans, we're still number one. We still, we still, the, the, we still are setting the standard of victories and, and tradition in this state in football until we're knocked off. So let's come out and support this great group of young men. Uh, travel up to the north side tonight and, and, and watch the Cinegrove Trojans beat the Pike Red Devils.
Go Trojans.